As a child, Bill Casing would often lay on his bed, eyes fixed on the twinkling stars above. The mysteries of the universe beckoned him. Inspired by science fiction novels and the human thirst for exploration, Young Bill dreamt of the day when humans would leave their footprints on the moon. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, humankind achieved a monumental feat. Uh, buzz, this is Houston, F2, one one sixtieth second, for shadow photography on the sequence. The moon tower. landing. Okay. I'm, uh, at the foot of the ladder. But amidst the jubilation and awe, a whisper began to emerge. Some say it was the greatest achievement of the 20th century. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Questioning the veracity of this historic event. No Apollo ever no. landed on the moon claimed the astronauts never, ever landed on the moon. They can't answer these questions. It actually made the conspiracy theories stronger. At the heart of this whisper was one man, Bill Casing. In this episode, let's embark on the journey to unravel the mystery of the fake landing. Fueled by his fascination, Bill delved into every book he could find about space and rockets. His obsession drove him to pursue an engineering career hoping one day to become part of the grand adventure. Casing's dreams materialized when he joined NASA, the epicenter of space exploration. Working alongside some of the brightest minds, he found himself involved in the early days of the Apollo program. Late nights turned into early mornings as Bill meticulously examined every piece of information he could access. During the 1960s, Bill Casing was the head of technical publications for Rocketdyne the company that helped manufacture the Apollo rockets, who claimed he had access to some of its top secret documents, questioned the competence of the Apollo project. Discrepancies began to emerge, shadows falling in odd directions, strange reflections on visors, and the lack of stars in the lunar sky. Determined to address his growing suspicions, unable to contain his doubts any longer, Bill took a brave step. He decided to leave NASA and share his concerns with the world, namely how NASA lacked the technology to go to the moon and return. I really believe that they weren't in the command capsule at launch. They, uh, they did a little bit of a magician act with the astronauts. They went up the elevator, but they came down the elevator. In other words, they did not want to risk the lives of the astronauts in case the Saturn blew up. Well, since uh, the government, our corrupt government, essentially controls the media, it's no problem for them to produce propaganda films. You see, this is a story of perspective and skepticism, pride that seemingly hurt us, a time when people witnessed global powers emerge and the United States did something incredible. Do that, but it did mean a hard landing, but a safe landing. Apollo 15 achieved all of its objectives and accumulated a wealth of scientific information. The 20th century made us believe we can reach for the stars and beyond. The United States and the Soviet Union were the two major powers, and nothing would stop them from proving who was the most powerful nation in the world. After witnessing the incredible destructive power of nuclear weapons, both nations knew what the effect would be if both sides were to use their full nuclear arsenal. Now it was time to do the next impossible thing known to humanity. That is to achieve superiority in spaceflight and conquer the vast space. Today a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. Here an artist's conception of how the feat was accomplished, a three-stage... The rocket. launch of Sputnik 1, the first ever artificial satellite, sent shockwaves through the Eisenhower administration. 
It created intense fear and anxiety among the US public, leading many to believe that the Soviet Union had surpassed the technological achievements of the United States. In parallel, the US committed to reaching the moon, further intensifying the space race. Now it is time to take longer strides, time for a great new American enterprise. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The US was determined to stop at nothing to reclaim its top position. On December 6, 1957, the US launched its highly anticipated Vanguard TV-3 rocket from Cape Canaveral, carrying a 1.5-kilogram satellite. However, the launch was a catastrophic failure, with the rocket reaching an altitude of only 1.2 meters. Newspapers mockingly referred to the event as Flopnik. Subsequently, the USSR continued its string of successes with launches like Sputnik 2 and D-12 Sputnik 8A91, as well as the deployment of a long-range ballistic missile. The USSR was solidly leading the space race. But on the 20th of July 1969, Everything changed, and the world witnessed the US making history, with astronauts Neil Armstrong, the commander, and Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot, becoming the first people to land on the moon, waving back to the world. And the world was shocked. In a complex diplomatic environment, with the long-going Cold War with the Soviet Union, it would be beneficial for any nation to have a socio-political advantage. In the case of Cold War, even false victory can have great diplomatic impacts, which led to skepticism and distrust. So it became quite expected to investigate and find evidence, and people started questioning the photos and the alibi. Skepticism only grew more when Stanley Kubrick put hidden anecdotes in his films. Just before Apollo had achieved its mission, Stanley Kubrick had made 2001 A Space Odyssey, which had shocked the world with its groundbreaking visuals of space travel, and it was obvious for people to think Stanley Kubrick was behind all of this. Stanley Kubrick, a genius surrounded in mystery, was a master of capturing truth and weaving together puzzle pieces to tell the story. In one of his greatest films, 2001 A Space Odyssey, he delved into the fascination with the concept of a faked moon landing. When the time came to create the movie The Shining, Kubrick decided to embed subtle references within it. One of the most intriguing clues was worn by young Danny Torrance, a sweater with the Apollo 11 rocket seamlessly knitted into the pattern. The average distance between the Earth and the Moon is approximately 237,000 miles, a fact that played into Kubrick's concept of a faked moon landing, cleverly concealed within the infamous Room 237. In the film, this room contained a myriad of clues that, when pieced together, revealed a larger narrative. Notably, a hidden moon map was concealed behind a painting, and a miniature space capsule model was discreetly tucked away in a corner. Dill's curiosity propelled him into heroism in some eyes, while others vehemently denounced him as a hoaxer. The moon landing debate ignited a passionate and global division of opinions. Various documentaries have pointed out the inconsistencies in the photos that have since become a historic moment for the world, where two astronauts step out of the Apollo and land on the moon. People started to argue how it was possible, since our sun is the only source of light and acts like a key, light casting shadows at a similar direction. The conspiracy theorists' arguments ranged from the lack of stars to how the American flag was waving, why the shadows looked like the result of multiple light sources, and so on. To address these claims, a group of scientists, engineers, and historians formed a team determined to examine each piece of evidence with scientific rigor. To understand the unique lunar environment, the team sought advice from seasoned astronauts and space experts. They discovered that the moon's surface and atmosphere behaved differently than Earth's, impacting how light and shadows interacted. With a deeper understanding of the lunar environment, the team scrutinized the moon landing photographs. They found that the lack of stars was due to the camera settings, not evidence of a staged event. 
Armed with their thorough investigation, the team confidently debunked many of the moon landing conspiracy claims, shedding light on the scientific realities behind the alleged inconsistencies. While some conspiracy theorists remained unconvinced, many people embraced the evidence presented by the team, appreciating the efforts to bring clarity to a controversial topic. In the end, Bill Casing's story is a testament to the power of curiosity and the courage to question. Whether one believes the moon landing or not, his journey from an inspired dreamer to a controversial figure reminds us that human exploration of the cosmos continues to captivate our hearts and minds.